Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So today we're releasing a couple of videos talking about the changes to the grand scheme coming in March 2022. The first one is the EVHS or the Electric Vehicle Home Charge Scheme and relates to grants that you can get in the UK from the Office for Zero Emission Vehicles for charge points being installed in domestic properties. Second one, the other video that you can click the card above or in the description below relates to the Workplace Charging Scheme and is related to commercial properties. So as I said, there are huge changes coming in March 2022. So if you're thinking of buying an electric vehicle and you want a charge point installed at your home or workplace, make sure you check out these videos, understand the changes and understand if you need to push ahead with your install and get it done sooner or maybe you might want to wait, start consulting and go ahead with the install after March 2022. <music> The first thing to note is that if you are an OLEV approved installer, you won't need to reapply to be on the new schemes after March 2022. You may need to opt in, but you will be contacted via email if this is required. So the first big change is that the current grant scheme, I'll just describe what that is. Uh, if you're in a private residence, you can claim up to £350 per socket to get a charge point installed at your home. In March 2022, this will be disappearing. The last charge point we will install under the EVHS scheme will be the 31st of March 2022. For all the installers out there, this also means the last application you can make under the current EVHS scheme for private properties will be the end of April 2022. So go over those deadlines again. The last install that can be made under the current EVHS scheme is the 31st of March 2022. And the last application that can be made under the current EVHS scheme is the 30th of April 2022. So a couple of takeaway points here. With the grant scheme coming to an end, there is, we've seen an influx of people wanting their home charge points installed so installers are going to get more and more busy so with that in mind you want to get your charge point installation booked up as soon as possible if you're thinking of buying an electric car in the new year again I would seriously get in touch with people get quotes um, and find out where those installers are booked up to because uh, you know the there's a lot of installers who are already booked months in advance. So make sure you get your install booked and don't miss the deadline for the EVHS scheme ending. The second thing to bear in mind is that you don't have to have had the card delivered to have your charge point installed and claim the grant. You only need to have an order and have your paperwork in order. So again, don't delay. Make sure you contact the installers and get it all booked in. Now, if you're in a flat or rental accommodation and you want a charge point installed at your home, you can still make claim the grant for the £350 per socket going forwards. It will be under the new scheme, but the grant amount won't change. As before, you must have an EV and you must have off-road parking. So nothing has changed on that side. It's just for private homes that the grant will be disappearing. What isn't talked about in the EVHS announcement is that if private home owners are not eligible, but people in rented accommodation are, you may have to prove that you're in rented accommodation. We don't know how this is going to look. Um, there are changes to how the applications will go through. So bear that in mind. <laughs> Now let's talk about what's replacing the current scheme and I'm reading from my, my uh, notebook so I don't get this wrong. 
If you own or operate rental accommodation, social housing or an apartment block, you'll be able to claim grants that weren't available to you previously. You'll be able to claim up to £350 per socket, up to 200 sockets per year. So this means if you own and operate large enough buildings or large enough amounts of accommodation, you could claim up to £70,000 a year towards charge point installations. Obviously, as with everything, there are more detailed terms and conditions. We're putting these up on the screen now. Make sure you check these to see if you're eligible. Um, and there might be more detailed eligibility criteria come out in March 2022. But this is really good if you want to lower the carbon emissions of your rented accommodation and encourage tenants to take up electric vehicles. Now, in addition to this, if you are an owner or operator of an apartment block, there's additional funding. So you can get the £350 per socket as per other rented accommodation and social housing. But on top of this, you can claim up to £30,000 per building with a limit of 30 applications per applicant per year. Now obviously the amount of grant depends on your parking spaces but you're allowed up to £850 per socket on top of the £350 claimed as mentioned previously or you can claim £500 per parking bay to get it EV ready. So let me just explain that in more detail. If you want to install a charge point, you get your £350 plus your £850 to enable um, things like cabling. Um, there's usually a lot more cost involved. So that's up to £1,200 per parking space to install an electric vehicle charge point. In addition to this, if you have a, some parking spaces where you want to get them EV ready, but not necessarily install the charge point right now, you can claim up to £500 per parking space. Now again, there are some other terms and conditions on this. We'll put them on the screen now. Um, one of the big ones that you need to make note of is that you must get at least five bays EV ready and install at least one charge point. However, if you add it all up, you can spend a lot of money on upgrading your infrastructure, cabling, and getting these parking spaces electric vehicle ready or installing electric vehicle charge points. And these are the biggest grants that have become available to get apartment blocks ready for electric vehicles. So this is really worth taking advantage of. So these costs you can also put towards um, other infrastructure such as bay markings, signage, um, work at the distribution board and all the associated works that do come with installing an EV charger somewhere like uh, an apartment block. So the new grant scheme from March 2022 will also go through a new platform, a digital platform that OZEV are implementing. Now us and a bunch of other installers throughout the country have been involved in helping OZEV come up with this new platform and we're hoping that this will make the process of the OZEV claims easier for installers and will allow for faster reimbursements, which has always been an issue with the OZEV grant. So here's hoping the new platform will be better. So on top of these grant changes, there's a whole bunch of other um, changes that are coming through which will help homeowners reduce their carbon footprint. Uh, there's going to be a new grant for installing heat pumps at your home up to around £5,000. But this will really help homeowners lower their carbon emissions and move to a more, uh, a more efficient heating source for the homes. In addition, it's been announced that new homes will need to have charge points installed. I presume this will be done through building regs. We haven't seen exactly how this is going to work at the moment, but again, really encouraging news. Obviously, we have a strong pedigree in installing charge points at homes. So make sure if you do want a charge point installed, 
get in touch with us and get a quote before the grant runs out for your private home. Or if you're in the domestic property market or have an apartment block or you're a landlord with accommodation, please get in touch with us and we can advise you on the best charge points to install and the best route to go down for you and your tenants. So I hope that was useful. If it was, give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications of our future videos. Check us out on our social media. And thanks very much for watching. Oh,